this is really some room, isn't it? These great pictures of all these famous people. You've got Chris Rock. You got Robin Williams. You got Maria Shriver. <laughs> Excuse me, Maria. All right, so I'll tell you. A group of friends and I recently went to uh, an Ethiopian restaurant. First time. I didn't know what Ethiopian food was. Now I know. It's all the food we left over as a kid. <laughs> yeah, our mothers really sent it. I was served half a pork chop and some picked up a spinach. <laughs> you know, you know, we have a lot of Indians in this area, don't we? Boy, do we have a lot of Indians. Yeah. And they have some really long names sometimes, don't they? You know, and it, it's wrong. It's just wrong. They come over here in droves, using up all of our alphabet. <laughs> Gee, you know. After a while, they're going to have to ration letters to, to real Americans, like, like you and me. Right, right Mr. Wojciechowicz? <laughs> you know, this whole idea of hate crime laws, I just don't understand hate crime laws. You know, you rob somebody, you get caught, you do time, right? But if you rob somebody, you call them a bad name and you get caught, you do even more time. Tell me something, does it, does it work the other way around? You know? uh, give me all your money. You know, you're a beautiful person. I really like your culture. <laughs> Do I get to keep the money? <laughs> so, anyway. My wife and I have recently taken up a new hobby. Fishing. Now, I'll tell you, I admit to being a novice, all right? I originally thought hip waiters were just cool guys in restaurants. <laughs> so, you know, you know, my people don't fish. Like, you know, I'll tell you the truth, right? <laughs> you don't get out there and see a lot of Jews fishing, okay? You know, well, maybe about 2,000 years ago, one of us did a little. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. But that was long before the invention of credit cards. Look, if he had, if he had a credit card, he'd have just treated everybody to a seafood dinner. So meanwhile, you, you, you start a new hobby, and you got to get new gear. Right? My wife said she wanted to have her own rod. I said, no, nah, that's not necessary. You can hold mine. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I've done lots of things in my life. Uh, one of them is a tax lawyer. Um, you know, when, when business would get slow, I would call the IRS and turn in some clients. That's <laughs> funny, they weren't that funny. Right. So speaking of taxes, you know, when Obama promised change, I had no idea that that what he meant was, that's all I have left after I pay my taxes. <laughs> well, he's something else, isn't he? He's on TV so much, he had Jay Leno as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remember when, when, do you remember when he uh, was getting a dog? Didn't, didn't you expect him to get a Dalmatian? <laughs> Go back to the hate crimes. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'll tell you, being president takes it really. Um, you know, you really got to like a lot of, make a lot of hard decisions. Um, you know, recently he had to decide whether he meets with the Dalai Lama, right, the embodiment of world peace, or kiss the butt of the Chinese regime that massacred hundreds of students, right? Can you just see him now? Hmm. World peace. Massacre. World Peace Massacre. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the massacre. Ding, 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 ding. Nobel Peace Prize. 
You know, I, I do have this Nobel Peace Prize thing all figured out, though, by the way. Yeah. Acorn did the vote counting. <laughs> Black for um, going to Copenhagen for that the Chicago Olympics thing, uh, the, the Chicago Olympics thing, didn't he? But you know, I sympathize with the man. Look, he lives with his mother-in-law. <laughs> you live with your mother-in-law, you get out of the house as much as you can too. <laughs> Olympics. So, so Rio gets the Olympics. How cool is that, right? I am so looking forward to to women's beach volleyball in the thong. <laughs> no, no, not me in the thong, them in the thong. Yeah, I'm not talking about the shoes either. Um, right? Oh, well, ladies, okay. Michael Phelps in a banana hammock. And, uh, hey, why not? You know, the sumos have been doing it for years, and, and, and that's a real turn on. But I, I tell you, I really like, I really enjoy uh, women's sports. You remember? Remember that South African runner, right? right. Was she, you know, male or female? You know, they say it's a complicated series of tests, right? Give me a break. Come on. I knew that test when I was seven, and I was only playing doctor. <laughs> uh, doctor, should we give her the medal? Hmm, I don't know. It's, uh, she seems to have a seven-inch clitoris. <laughs> Now, if you like women's sports, you gotta love women's tennis, right? But all that moaning and groaning. Oh, well, right? you, you take an audio track of a women's tennis match, you lay it over a porno track. It matches perfectly. It's, it's, like, it's like Pink Floyd and the Wizard of Oz. Well, so, we got ourselves a local World Series, huh? The, um, boy, I'll tell you, I was watching the game last night, and I just couldn't believe, I can't believe how much they spit. <laughs> <laughs> They're always spitting, that's disgusting. I mean, what other world, what other work, you know, what other work life, you know, what other job, I guess is the word I'm looking for, job, three letters, job. Um, uh, can you do? where you're spitting all the time. I mean, wouldn't it disgust you if after every joke I spit in your drink? <laughs> what, about, what about a lawyer? Uh, your Honor, I object. <laughs> or a surgeon. Scalpel. <laughs> what else is in the news? Oh, how about that guy, that terrorist, right? This guy was rejected by all the terrorist organizations. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. How crazy do you have to be to be rejected by Al Qaeda? Come on. I mean, and what does that job application look like? What do you think? What kind of questions do you think you have? Right? Do you look good in a vest? Does your cavemate have to be a non-smoker? I mean, you know, do you feel you've been born 1,200 years too late? Will 27 virgins do it for you? Uh, anyway, the, uh, there's some... Don't you really love great marketing, really creative stuff? The kind of stuff that makes you want to buy the thing, right? Even if you, even if you, uh, even if you don't need it. Um, perfect example, Magnum condoms. <laughs> it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Who doesn't want to own Magnum condoms? I buy them just to impress the girl behind the counter. <laughs> I saw a 12 year old buying it with a bag of rubber bands. <laughs> so, and how, how about that, how about that, that ingenious phrase, if, a, if an erection lasts more than four hours? <laughs> Is that a warning or a promise? <laughs> All right. What about, what about the store named BJ's? <laughs> I'm just waiting for their tire shop to be renamed the Rim Job. 